guys, if you are a camper from Camp Cedar Cliff, you know exactly where I'm at. I'm standing right here below the Hemlock Pavilion in the receiving deck of the people who are brave enough to make the big swing from our high ropes course. That's right. This place right here is known for one thing, and that is facing your fears. As I'm climbing up this ladder, you can see that I'm right here below the deck where the all the campers have to make their way through the course, get up here to this overseeing platform, and they have to hook themselves to this, way up on the top of this big, huge tower. And then they have to trust all these cables. They've got to trust their harness. They've got to trust their counselor that's going to allow them to push themselves off of this platform and swing all the way down here on this cable. And it swings them all the way over on this cable to that tree right there. And if they're strong enough, they push off that tree and can go all the way back up and give a high five to their counselor. So this is a pretty big deal for counselors, but it's a great reminder to me too. You know, the Bible tells us to trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not on your own understanding. You know, so many times campers end up in this little oversight here thing looking over top. I mean, this thing's probably 35, 40 feet in the air and they just can't do it. They're just frozen with fear. Sometimes they have to back the other way crawl back down the cargo net to get off but sometimes we have campers who say a lot of times i trust and i'm gonna i'm not gonna lean back off of this i'm leaning into trusting and they make the big plunge that's how god works trust in the lord with all your heart lean not on your own understanding don't lean back away from the things that god's calling you to lean into them Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not on your own understanding, but in all your ways, acknowledge him. You say, God, you're here. You're with me. Acknowledge him. And he will direct your paths. And man, what a great, great story for us here at Camp Cedar Cliff. We're giving you an update from day to day. And I apologize that we've not been back with you, but we've been busy. Um, been on, in conversations as a staff, been planning out all of these different uh, paths for us to be able to get the word out to tell the story about Camp Cedar Cliff. And we're just now, I, I've got some good news. We're just now today breaking $50,000 that has been raised so far toward our Camp Cedar Cliff Relief Fund. We got a long way to go, but this is a great start. And so I wanna say thank you to you guys who gave. Some of you have received our letter and you've already either gone to our website or you've sent a check in. Some checks I know I, I just trust the Lord are on the way. And I just say thank you, thank you, thank you for being a part of that. And um, I'd encourage you by faith, would you lean not away from trusting the Lord to help out, but lean toward helping us out. I got to tell you a quick story and uh, give you a couple updates, but um, you know, remember a couple of, of vlogs ago, I told you about one of our campers and I know you're probably watching this and uh, and so I'm sure I'll, he'll be he'll be sharing this with some of his friends, but i um, so proud of Thomas who gave us that check for $115. Do you know out of that check, we've received three other checks who one was an amount of $300, another one for $100, and another one for $50 that were prompted specifically attached to that gift. The faith of that 15 year old camper saying, hey, I'm gonna be obedient, raise $115. That $115 is now turned into over $500 and I'm sure his story is continuing to impact others. So I just say thank you guys, all of you for doing whatever you can to help Camp Cedar Cliff stay on, on, on track. And hey, by the way, we're doing our part. We've reduced, we reduced our spending by 56% immediately when we found out what was happening in the COVID impact back in this past spring. Um, reducing our summer staff by 35%, stopping all projects. You know, we stopped projects back in April on our facility, all improvement facility improvements, and still have not resumed them. 
and um, our own staff making sacrifices, furloughing on unemployment, um, doing all these things in order for us to make sure we're able to do our part as a staff to, to be able to survive this hiccup in this incredible growth season we've had at camp. Do you know Camp Cedar Cliff since 2014 has grown 153%? Those are campers. Those are numbers of campers who've come and heard the gospel, been encouraged. So we're continuing to, um, to build the dream of what God has, the vision he has for this camp. And we're just determined that, that COVID is just a blip. It's just a, it's just a hiccup in the path that God's taken this camp. And so I'm grateful for you. Letters have gone out. Conversations are being had with people and uh, asking people to say, would you be a part of this? Um, I'm still looking forward to having a Philippians 4, 6 party celebration on this property. And everyone who contributed, whether it's $100 or whether it's $25,000, we want you to be a part of a celebration we're going to have on this property. And you know what? I call it phase four. We're going beyond phase two, beyond phase three. We're going to have phase four right here at camp and uh, celebrate what God's doing. So a lot's being accomplished. Grateful for you. I hope all you campers remember the High Ropes course here just underneath Hemlock. It, it's, a, it's a classic place. Be back here soon. It's going to be great. If you're not registered for 2021, registration's open and we're filling up spots. So look forward to keeping you guys posted. Um, I know I got a smile on my face, but I'm gonna be honest with you. We got a long way to go here at Camp Cedar Cliff and we're spreading the word. So you do the same. How about, how about this? I need you to be watching your GPS for us. And that is give, pray, share. If there's a way you can give, fantastic. If you can pray, pray. If you can share, share. So set your GPS to that right there. Would you give, pray, and share and make sure that you're getting the word out about Camp Cedar Cliff's need. We love you guys. We have not faltered in our faith trusting the Lord. We know God's a good God. And uh, every one of you campers, God has created intentionally and on purpose with a great, great purpose in your life. And I know that uh, we're excited about watching the story unfold. We'll see you guys. I'll make sure I, I put up a video tomorrow to give you some updates on what happens. See ya.